Well, hello, welcome. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you today? I'm very well, teacher. <laughs> okay, all right. What hello, about you? Teacher. I'm doing great. I had a little headache, but it's going away. It's going away. I'm a little worried about the news, about the violence that the country has been through. Here in El Salvador? Yes. Yeah, in San Salvador. A lot it's, of people was talking about that, but, but I don't know. I don't know what happened that. It's too dangerous know? right now. It's yeah. too dangerous. I, I, I heard something about maybe in San Salvador, right? Yeah. In, in San Salvador, Santa Tecla, it's even Aguachapan. Right. And normally, you know, um, normally right before Christmas, right? Normally crime rises, right? Antes de Navidad, el, yeah. la violencia y el crimen aumenta, right? Because it's the end of the year and a lot of people are, there's a lot of, even a lot of tourists coming to El Salvador right now. A lot of people. Yeah, but, but the problem is that 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 be a lot of murders yes, in, a lot in of the crime. last 24 hours. Yes, the crime, the crime rate has gone up, right? It has risen. And just like you said, I think in the last 24 hours or two days or something like that, it's been it's been like an increase of crime and, and, and murders and violence, right? And missing people. Missing people also, yeah. That's that's true from what I I heard a little bit about it, but I haven't seen all of it. I was watching it earlier today, but I had to I had to leave, I had to go out and then I had to come back. So I didn't get a chance to really watch the whole news, the complete news. But yeah, it's um, it's uh, I think they they upgraded the security measures, right? I think military personnel or something like that, something in that nature. But yes, it's very critical the situation actually. Okay. Well, I went. Yesterday, I, I we lost a parent, um, family parent. Mm, wow. Yes. It's, it's um. Because for the violence, how yes, how can violence. I... violence violence violence? Yeah. So if you live around that area, I guess just be careful, right? Be careful. Always be be attentive of your surroundings and everything that, that you do, right? Any bank transactions, or if you go to the bank or go go anywhere, try to avoid places by yourself and those types of things, right? Try to maintain yes. safe. Let me see. And just stay home as much as you can for right now. Till Christmas, <laughs> till Christmas, right? It's right around the corner, right around the corner. What What is the celebration in the United States for this month, for November? What would it be? Thanksgiving. Ah, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. 11, 11. <laughs> Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving. Uh, do we celebrate Thanksgiving here? I don't think so. No, teacher. Oh, we do. Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we don't, right? We don't celebrate Thanksgiving here. Um, normally, the turkey is for Christmas, right? El pavo es para Navidad in the United States. Because we don't, we don't have nothing to be grateful. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we don't have nothing to be grateful about, says Blanca, right? All right. So, the is it's ironic, right? To me, it's ironic, I guess, uh, la ironia, the irony about that day, right, in the United States. If you know the history about it, uh, you kind of laugh, right? Yo a veces me río de ese día. 
because, uh, yeah, I like it because it's a holiday, right? Siempre me gustó porque fue un día feriado, right? It was a holiday. But the reality was it wasn't Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> it wasn't Thanksgiving. Eh, la forma que trataron a los... Uh, a las personas nativas. A la gente nativa. Yeah, a los que yeah, los engañaron. Yeah. Le dieron la gran mentira de la, del siglo. Right? They, they gave them a big lie, right? Invited yes. them for yeah, dinner. But, but in here, eh, they betrayed us too. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah, exactly, right? So that, that's what I'm saying. We don't celebrate. They celebrate it as the... It's really... It's really a day that they celebrate to give thanks to the native Indians for saving them, for salvarlos a ellos de la, de la nieve and, the, and, the, and living in, outside the country. So they taught them how to plant corn, how to, how to grow things, and how to, how to do the cattle, right? So they gave thanks for that, but then they took the land from them, right? So, después le quitaron la tierra, sí. Yes. They sent them over there to Oklahoma and Arizona. <laughs> the desert right <laughs> so all right but today is um it's thursday right and we're almost finished with the week we're almost finished at, with the week. at least uh, the natives in in usa is still they're still alive but oh yeah they, the country still... there it's a a little small population i think it's too little yeah. Actually, in the United States, how native person teacher? Yes, they do, but they're very really? minimal. Very minimal. Oh. Very yeah, minimal. and they treat them like kids because they have their own uh, lands, and nobody can make constructions around them. Yeah, because they treat them. Different. Just like kings. They they treat them um well it wasn't like that at first, right? They gave them some treaties, some treaties that they signed with the government. It took years, years, like hundreds of years to get that done. Wow. But they finally gave land to them and gave them the right to have the land because it was taken from them. They don't have the best land. Because they had the best land, the fertile land, they gave them the more rocky land, but they gave them the they gave them that land, right? And there's no, they let them keep their language, although the majority don't speak that language anymore, right? They don't speak their Cherokee or Navajo or uh, different uh, other tribe. The Sioux in the north, they don't the Sioux doesn't exist anymore, but the Cherokees and the the Navajo, yes, they do, they still exist, right? I'm going to tell you something. The Navajo, los Navajo Indians in the United States, they used them in World War II. Lo usaron en la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Yes. Really? For, for code, para códigos. For codes in wow. the military, right? Is it here for me? Because oh, when, that's interesting. So, uh, why? Pero por qué, right? Por qué esta gente nativa, por qué estos indio, indígena? Why? Because they knew that at some point, other nations like Japan or the or uh, Germany, los Nazis, they could intercept their radio communications, right? Pero se escuchaban el Navajo, cómo iban traducirlo. They, they, they didn't know the language, <laughs> so they taught them like the language in Navajo, que es una tanqueta en Navajo. They gave them a code name, and uh, they have a movie like that. They have a movie made, they're called Code Breakers. Code Breakers. Wow. So they, they did work for the military. For it's code. a new for me to Yeah, say. so it's like they're speaking in Navajo, pero lo que están escuchando, they don't know what they're saying, right? Yes. Like, okay, it's not Spanish, it's not, it's not German, it's not Japanese, it's not Korea, right? Wow. What, what language is this, right? It's like saying, trying to interpret, uh, intercept a language, let's say from Europe, Y es el náhuatl, right? Uh -huh. Vamos a saber que es náhuatl en los 1848, right? So yes. it's like in the 1940s, right? They probably didn't even know what náhuatl was at that time, right? So they did that for the United States military, right? 
that was cool. Yeah, that was nice. So they did a lot Good of idea in this moment. Yeah, so it was very intellectual in their part. All right, let me see. Okay, let's begin with the attendance. Okay, I hope I hope everyone saw the message, right? The administration sent a message to the group. Administración mandó un un mensaje al grupo. So I hope everyone read it. Okay, prácticamente lo que yo les vengo diciendo desde el inicio, right? So just be attentive of that. They will be monitoring the classes. Son como el final de año, so they do a lot of auditing. Okay, so just remember that. Just keep that in mind. All right, let me see. I'm going to do the first attendance. Let me see. All right, Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you. And Blanca. Present. All right. Brenda. Brenda. All right. Carlos. Carlos. I'm here present teacher. I'm okay. here present teacher. Thank you. Doris. Doris. I see you there. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Edwin. Edwin. Okay, not here. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Freddy. I'm here. All right, great. Glenda. Present. Okay, thank you. Iris. Present teacher. All right. Jackie. Present. Okay. Darwin. Present teacher. All right. Jennifer. Jennifer. Teacher, present. Okay, thank you. And let me see. Juan Jose. Present teacher. All right. Y Carla. Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay. Here. Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, great. Let me see. Rolando. Oh, se está conectando ahorita. He's connecting right now. All right. Let me see. Present. Thelma. Present teacher. Thank you. And Janari. Janari. Okay, not here. And Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, and me is 19. Okay, great. Okay, class, let me see. Do, 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 do. All right, can you see the. A screen? Can you see the screen? Yes? No? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, yes, Neptali. All right, great. Neptali, can you read, please? Unit two, logistics, speaking activity, breakout rooms, meaning of 3 p.m. Thursday, November 11th, 1221. Mm, 20. Sure, Mr. Harry. 2021. All right. <laughs> okay, continue. Teacher Mr. Henry, intermediate for class number eight. Intermediate, intermediate. Intermediate. That's all. Very good. Good job, Natalie. Excellent. All right. So this is class number eight. And we are going to continue with unit two. 
we'll continue with the logistics and i have remember that i told you yesterday today we're going to do a lot of speaking activities and we're going to do one page i have to do this page for tomorrow but i'm going to go ahead and do it today Esta página era para mañana, but i'm going to do it today because tomorrow we will continue with our project and i don't want to be doing all these other activities and mixing them and i want you, i want your friday to be more relaxed right i want your friday to be relaxed so you can enjoy the weekend and that way you don't have a heavy day uh, tomorrow right so i'm pretty sure some of you are probably saying yeah all right for friday more relaxed and have a soft weekend soft friday not too heavy okay mm. Let's go to to the page here on your book, which is page 20, okay? Page 20. Page 20. On page 20, we are still talking about as always about logistics right but here we're talking about the three pls does anyone know what is three pl this right here three pl what is that what do you think three pl what do you think it is it says right there on number two test it third party logistic provider okay yeah right it says right here third party logistics right all right third party logistics is what 3pl means right third party logistics now these are just some uh, things that providers do but the definition but uh, thank you freddy for your participation the 3pl means third aquí está right here third party logistics third party logistics have you let me see i'm going to ask someone to go ahead freddy begin please okay you need to i will be able to express the advantage of outsourcing a 3pl service provider let's start have you heard the term the term third party logistic before why do companies use 3PLS third party logistics? Okay. 3PLs. 3PLs. Yes. All right. The little S signifies you just say else, right? Third party logistics. So, have you ever heard of that term? No. Nope. ¿Alguna vez la han escuchado? Third party logistics. No. No. Okay. We use it all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nosotros usamos a cada rato aquí en el país, right? Maybe you have used it before and you didn't even know, right? I'm going to ask someone. Like you... to concesionario, teacher. Mm, okay, close, yeah. Can you be more detailed, more specific? Maybe when you have, for example, you bought uh like his product however you need to move to other place no the the product not be to delivery in your house for example okay no yeah you're close very close right you're you're in the right path you're in the right path you're in the right path, but I want something more specific, right? That is correct what you said. That is correct. All right, but can you give me something more specific que lo determine como un 3, uh, 3PL? Can you distinguish a specific form of third party logistics? Delivery. Uh, forward. Okay. Doris, did you say something? Yes, yes. Uh, I. I think it's a delivery. Okay. By the company or by someone else? The companies. Um, 
Mm -hmm. Okay, close. Cerca, yeah, very close. You're on the right path. All right. Teacher. Yes. I think it's a company that um, deliver a product that doesn't uh, create by the own. By the way. Oh, a product that they don't sell. Okay, close. Close. For example, Hugo. Yes. Yes, that is a good example. I. That is an example, but can someone give me the something that distinguishes in words? That's a good example. And Abigail, you're in the right path, but I'm still looking for that specific part que determine que este es third party logistics. Can someone give me in words what what is unique or what is the difference between third party logistics? How, how do I know that that's a third party logistics? That's when you contract a specialized a company in logistic. Ah. Like when you're outsourcing. Very good. That's what I'm looking for. Perfect, Neftali. That is correct. It's not the company that does the delivery. They use someone else or a, a subcontractor or just like Neftali said, right? They, they get someone else to do the deliveries of products or goods, right? And, and uh, Iris says, says something about Ugo, right? When you call Ugo, like I, I use Ugo, I use Pedidos Ya also, right? And they me mande los mejores cupones, right? And, <laughs> and that's the one I use, right? If Ugo sends me a coupon or a discount, lo uso, I use it. If Pedido sends me a coupon, I use it. No lo dejo así, ah, después, no. So I use it, right? I use it. I take advantage of that. Now, when I do, when I do the, the order, think about this. Cuando yo hago el pedido, when I make the order to pedidos ya, ellos están cocinando la comida? Are they cooking the food? No, right? I'm ordering from them. I'm not calling like McDonald's or Taco Bell or Papa John's or or your campero or campesta. I'm not calling them, right? I'm doing it directly with pedidos ya. That that transaction goes to the store, right? La transacción llega a la tienda, also, right? But I'm not communicating directly with the with the store. I'm communicating directly with Hugo or pedidos ya. So they go to the store or to the restaurant and they pick up the order. Y ya el restaurante ya se limpia de cualquier responsabilidad, right? They gave it to pedido ya. Si me llega a mí, no es part, it's, not, it's not at fault the, the, the restaurant. is with pedidos ya. So they use third-party logistics. So they don't have to worry about any delivery, nada de eso. Ustedes no más llevan, right? They just take it. That, is, uh, uh, that means that pedido ya has to cancel the order before taking it. Yes. They, they're the ones that have to cancel the order, yeah because you're not connecting directly with the with the restaurant. Yes, they receive your order, right? And 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 that's it. But they give it to the the delivery guy. Pedidos ya. Y no es un delivery de Taco Bell or McDonald's, right? It's pedidos ya or Hugo. Right? They do not represent. Yeah. Yes, they they are third party logistics, right? Those are third party logistics. I'm going to give you another example, okay? I'm going to give you an example. That's territory, right? That's terrain, terrenal. That's, that's in terrain. What about in air, in airplane? What do we use as third party logistics? Do companies use them? Yes, and I'm going to give you an example. DHL, ¿han usted escuchado DHL? Yes. Yes, right? Now, DHL, ellos no andan ahí. Eh, ¿Quieren mandar algo? They don't be on trying to get people on the street, right? No. Sometimes the company goes to them and say, quiero mandar este paquete. That's it, right? They just receive, I want to send this here, right? And then they do the paperwork. And if you want to pay for insurance, you pay for it, right? La seguranza or whatever, or for damage or stolen. They, they have a price that goes with it. And then you pay them. 
to deliver your product, right? Or 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 you get um, how many have heard of viajeros, right? Those are third party logistics, right? You're not sending it with your with your cousin or like or your, yourself or a family member. You just get a viajero and say, oh, you're going to San Salvador. Mira, take this, boom, right? And you put it in their hands and they make sure it gets delivered to the person, right? You do not do it yourself. You get someone else, una, ter una tercer persona or a third entity. That is third party logistics, all right? And I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to show you this. All right, this is a little picture. All right, this is not in your book, so you don't have to be looking for it. And these are third party logistics, different forms, right? You can do it by airplane, right? By air. You can do it by, by train, by train, right? You can do it by, by shipping. And this is very common from one country to another, right? One country to another in, in, in ships, right? In cargo, in crates, in containers, right? They say, I want to send a million computers or anything, right? But I, I'm not going, my company will not deliver it. I'm going to contract someone else. Voy a contratar a una tercer person, a third party, all right? So they pay them to ship it. And you don't have to worry about the expenses about sending your workers or someone getting lost or the car breaks down, right? 10, 10 days to get here, right? No. They just put it on a ship and they send it and they pay the, the, the freight. They just pay the shipping and they, they use third party. They also use uh, trailers, right? Trailers. We see this a lot, right? From yeah. here to Honduras, to uh, Nicaragua or Guatemala or anywhere else or to the United States. A lot of the cargo, a lot of the shipment goes internationally, right? By car. My, not by car, but by trailer, right? They call these like 18 wheelers, 18 yeah. wheelers. So just to give you a little bit more a fundamental analysis about like third party logistics, this is what we're talking about, that the company itself is not doing the delivery. They use a third party to do the logistics for them, all right? As far as shipping your product or sending your product or goods. Or you can use the word merchandise, mercadeo, mercancia. You can use merchandise. You can use goods. You can use products. Right? This is what that means. Okay. So now you know what are third-party logistics, right? Now you you're like, okay, I see, I said, right? Now you know. All right. Now, having said that, let's look at this. Okay, now I'm going to ask the class, now that I gave you my analysis, the, the, the picture there, can someone give me another example of third party logistics in El Salvador? Maybe the freight forwards teacher. Okay, very good. Anyone else? In the Facebook, Facebook I did at uh, latienda.com. Okay. In Yesterday, uh, I bought a plancha para pupusas. Okay, okay. In in they uh, delivered me uh, other company. Okay, another company, another company. Another company delivered it. Delivered the the plancha para pupusas. Okay, the, the, the they gave you the, the stove, right? The cooking stove, the, the cooking stove, right? For pupusas. All right, very good. All right, so it wasn't the company, right? They, they sent someone else, right? Okay. Another, another company that, to send you the product, right? Yes, very good. Thank you, Doris. Anyone else? FedEx Express, teacher. Ah, yeah, FedEx. That is correct, right? FedEx, right? And FedEx is is very common. It's very it's very common, and a lot of people use it. It's a little expensive, right? But mm, 
if you want if you want something that is fragile that you're shipping or you know it's going to have some sort of insurance that it will not get lost yes right yes you use those right you use those all right very good very good excellent those are great examples right F FedEx right by air very good now let's look at the let's look at this activity it says pair work can you read please Juan Jose um pair work yes sir number the step to outsource a three-party logistic providers very good all right number the steps to outsource a third-party logistics provider right so provider is a proveedor right a third-party logistics provider now remember you, all you have to do is contact them and they will gladly do the logistic uh, delivery for you right and um there there are different ways now just like someone mentioned doris mentioned about facebook right there are a lot of people that sell on facebook but they deliver the product themselves right yo he hecho pedidos así with a uh, um, on facebook where the person that that is bringing the product is the person that sells that is going to sell me the product right so that is not third party but if they use another person or another company to do the delivery then that is considered third party logistics okay now the you have four here and we're going to do it together okay we're going to do it together in class you do not have to send it to me okay please do not send it to me because we're going to do it here and what we're going to do is number the steps these are the steps that you consider third-party logistic providers do to outsource or in other words to expand your product to send it all right now what do you think let's read them first and then we're going to number them now, alvin can you read the first one please develop develop of detail a detailed plan for the 3pl selection process very good excellent right very good develop a detailed plan for the 3pl selection process all right very good um, number two, Blanca. Evaluate, interview, and select. Very good. Evaluate, interview, and select, right? Okay, that will be the next one will be Abigail. Review the checklist of very party logistic capabilities third party logistic capabilities okay you gave it complete all right very good thank you Abigail. all right review the checklist of third party logistic capabilities very good excellent thank you and the last one uh edwin are you still not feeling well okay let me see jackie can you read the next one please Okay, uh, do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. Very good. And the final word said do an internal assessment, right? Of your current and future needs, right? An internal, right? Assessment, pretty much like an overview of your internal process, right? Not external, but internal. Let me see, what would be, what do you think will be number one? We're going to do it together, but what do you think the the steps should be? Which should be number one out of all these? I think that it could be doing an internal assistant of your current future needs. Very good, excellent. That is correct. Number one is here. All right, very good. 
do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. So you have to be able to like, okay, this is what I need. Esto es lo que necesito hacer para el futuro, for the future. I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do that, right? Everything internal, internally. Internally means inside the company, all right? Very good. What would you think would be number two? Okay, book. A detailed plan for three PL selection for okay, me. Okay, very good. That is correct. You then you develop a plan. First you you try to think about what you need to do for the future, then you develop a plan, right? The pueblo desarrolla plan, a detailed plan for the three PL selection. What do you think will be number three? Number three is evaluate, interview, and sell it. Okay, close. Thank um, you, Gladys. All right. It's the other one, right? Oh. All right, but very good, very good. I appreciate your participation, right? I think that you review the checklist of 3PL capacity. Yes, that will be number three. It will be review the checklist, right? Once you have the developed the plan, then you review. Then you review it, lo revisa, and then you finalize with, okay. you evaluate everything, right? You evaluate it. They're similar, right? So I understand if you probably thought this one, but they're similar. But this one goes with the interview. Ya donde viene la entrevista, where you go and say, okay, what are we going to do? What would you like to send? And then you select, right? Then you select the price, you select where you're going to go, and then you decide on the next final, whether it's a contract or any paperwork that needs to get done. Okay. That would be if you're going to do third party uh, logistics, right? Normally, these are the steps you should follow in a business. Okay, let's continue. Do you have all the answers here? I'm going to erase them. I'm probably going to leave them there. I'm going to leave them there for right now. Just yes, teacher. Okay, now, can you continue please reading on the next part? Um, Jarvin. Number three, building yes. vocabulary. Match the term relate to the logistics to their meaning of the right. Okay, very good. You're going to match the terms. So we have a little bit more vocabulary related to logistics. And the meanings are here on the right. Let's begin with, we're just going to read, okay? Thank you, Jarvin. Carla, can you read the first one, please? Can you read number one? Yeah. <laughs> Transportation. Okay. A function that allows company which rely to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicle investment. Okay. Vehicle. 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 Oh, vehicle. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Very good. All right. Number two, can you just read across, please, Jennifer? Yes. In a teacher, I don't know how to pronounce the first word. Private? Uh, private fleet management. In develops or package shipments that weigh less than 150 pounds. Very good, very good, excellent. Let me see, Jackie, can you read the next one, please? Okay, teacher. Um... A legal demand, a, yes, a legal demand by the shipper okay. to a career. Uh, we're, not, we're not there yet, Jackie. Okay, can someone read the next one or tell Jackie where we are? Please, furnish. Right, clean insurance. Okay. Provide protection against all risks of physical loss or damage to freight. Okay, very good. So we have the, the freight claim insurance, right? This is not the answer, we're just reading across. All right, okay, now, uh, Carlos, can you read the next one, please? 
cargo insurance, a, a legal demand by shipper to carrier for a financial comp compensation for a, a loss or damage of damage? A shipment. Damage. Damage. Yes. Damage of achievement. Achievement. Okay. Yes. Shipment. Very good. Very good. And the last one. Um, let me see. Jackie, where are you? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Can you continue, please? The last one, right? The physical process of transporting. Okay. Commodities. Can you, can you oh. read the? Ah, no, okay. A small package service. Services. Very good, correct. And the physical process of transporting commodities in, in merchandise, goods, and cargo. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jackie. Okay, so now, now we have these words here and the definition here or the meaning. I want to say it that way. And I'm going to give you a few minutes to try to figure out this you can do. Do not send it to me. Okay, just do it. And let me know when you finish. We're going to do it here in class. Teacher, what is the meaning of freight claim and syringe? Excuse me? What is the meaning of number three, the freight, freight claim and syringe? Insurance. Insurance is la seguranza. Okay, no, the word freight. Freight oh, claim. Freight. You, you mean freight? Freight? Is okay. It's the okay, freight. Freight is the word that is used when you talk about the transportation of a lot of products, right? El cargo, eh, la mercancía. That is freight. All right. That is freight. It's the bulk. It's un transporte en grande, masivo. De, 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 de mercancía o carga. Eso se le llama freight. That's what they call it, freight. It's another word for cargo. Okay, sure. Thank okay, you. So, freight claim. A claim is como un, a form that you do, right? For insurance. Como el requisito. El papeleo de, de asegurar. Su, su producto. That is freight claim insurance. So the freight is basically the transportation of goods, right? It's almost like when you say, si, sí, viene la mercancía, viene el cargo en el barco, right? You're talking about the freight. And does anyone know what the word claim means? I thought it was like a piece of paper, right? It's also considered como el reclamo, right? Or the paper that identifies the insurance. Now, remember at the beginning of the class, I told you that this part was supposed to be done tomorrow. 
se los tenía que demostrar mañana, right? I have mentioned to you earlier. So why am I doing it right now? Why? Because tomorrow we are going to continue working in the project and you're going to, for tomorrow, analyze what your company is going to do as far as logistics. Is your company going to be inbound logistics? Are they going to use inbound logistics and outbound logistics or both? Or are you going to use third party logistics? And you're going to have to explain that if you want to use third party logistics. That's why I'm presenting it today and not tomorrow. So that way you can have a better understanding when we have the, the time in class for tomorrow to continue part two, part two of the project, right? So that's why I decided to give this today. We're still going to talk about it a little bit tomorrow, but now you understand. Y pienso que ya todos saben que es third party logistics, right? This is going to help you with your project, your presentation. Because you're going to have to decide what type of logistics your company is going to use. Is it inbound, outbound, or third party? Okay, is anyone finished? Okay, I'll give you a little bit more time. Okay, let's do it together in class because the, the part number four, you're going to do it with your classmates. You're going to do it in breakout rooms. Okay, now, what would be number, what would be transportation? Where would number one the go? The physical process of transporting commodities and merchandising goods. Merchandise. Not merchandise, goods, and cargo. Very good, all right? It's the physical process, right? Very good. Transporting commodities and merchandise, goods, and cargo, right? Very good, excellent. What would be number two? It will be a function that allows companies which rely to remove or minimize the risk associated with vehicles investment okay very good this is a private fleet right private fleet 
nadie me preguntó qué significa fleet. So, so that means you know what fleet means? ¿Qué significa fleet? Does anyone know? I don't, I don't know, teacher. Okay, thank you. Fletes? Excuse me? Is fletes? Flota, flota. Yes, right. Now, it could be... Excuse me, yes, yes. Right. All right, yes, right. That's a, a, a fleet. That's what it means, una flota, right? Now, it, it could be in ships, let's say in barcos, right? Or it could be private airplanes, right? Or small airplanes, right? Like DHL and them, they have their own airline, right? It says DHL, right? And it doesn't say Continental Airlines or Southwest, I say DHL, on the, they have their own little private fleet, right? And you also use them in, uh, in boats, in boats, right? You can have your own private fleet. A fleet is more than one, it's a, it's a group, or a, or a quantity, a large amount of whether it's trailers, whether it's airplanes, or whether it's ships, right? So in other words, you have a not not just one, but a more than one, right? More than one. That is a fleet, right? A fleet. Let me see. Okay, number three. What will be number three? Mm -hmm. It will be a legal demand by the shipper to a career for a, fi a financial? Mm -hmm. financial? Financial. Co financial compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. Okay, very good, very good. All right, now, this is a freight claim insurance, all right? Freight claim is anything that is related to the cargo or la mercancia, right, that is being shipped. For example, if I send a thousand or five thousand, I don't know, phones, right? And I want to send them to Guatemala, right? But I know that mandando con alguien aquí, no, right? I cannot send that quantity, right? Because uh, después van a decir, oh, me robaron, whatever. No, 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 right? So I use maybe DHL or FedEx or something like that, right? And and I do what is called a freight claim, or I go by ship, private private fleet. Right, and they say, okay, we, we will provide you with a, a legal claim, right? And it's basically when you claim something that has been damaged or or destroyed or sometimes stolen, right? Están asegurados. So that's what this means. It's a demand, a legal demand, right? Number four. What would number four be? Number four, cargo insurance provides mm -hmm. protection against all risks or physical loss and damage to freight. Very good. And this is just another form of cargo insurance, right? The insurance, and then we have the claim, right? The insurance, and then we have the claim. La, el seguro y lo otro es el reclamo, right? The, the claim. So it provides protection. This is the same thing. It's a protection that all risks or damage or, you know, this is stolen, right? But some um, say stolen, right? It's rare when someone says, oh, eh, me robaron esto por DHL. Creo que nunca, no he oído, I haven't heard one yet, All right? Maybe damaged, yes, but not stolen, right? Let me see. Okay, and the last one. Small package service. Okay. Envelopes or package shipments that weigh less than 150. I don't know how to pounds. say. Pounds. Pounds. LB. Pounds. 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 Yes, pounds. All right. Pounds. So this is called envelopes. Envelopes. Blanca. Envelopes. What are envelopes? What is envelopes? ¿Qué significa envelopes? What does that mean? Sobre. Yes, very good. Envelopes, right? Or package shipments. Very good. So that is the definition of some of these vocabulary words. And let me see. You can use them. Remember, everything that we're seeing now, you can use in your presentation. Okay? Anything of this. You can say, you know what? 
Our company provides shipment and is insured. We do not use third party. We use uh, outbound logistics and we have it secured and insured, right? Insured. Okay, great. Now, look at number four. Before we do number four, uh, let's read it first. Um, <laughs> it is. Yes, teacher. Can you read, please? Your turn. Grab work. Discuss the following advantage of hiring a 3PL provider. Okay. Advantages. Advantages. Advantage. Advantages. Very good. Excellent. Right. So you're going to discuss with your classmates. I already gave you extra, and I even gave you a picture about third-party logistics, right? I think everyone knows how, hoy si ya les quedo claro que es third-party logistics, right? Yes? All right. So at first you didn't know, now you do. Now, having said that, you're going to do this activity in pairs. And let's look at, let's look at some of these points. Continue, it is letter A. Letter A, third-party logistics service improve customer satisfaction with accurate order fulfillment and on-time de de delivery. Okay, accurate, accurate. Accurate. Very good. All right, very good. Thank you, Iris. Right, so we have some points here, third-party logistics improve right? Improve, que mejoran, right? The customer satisfaction with accurate, right? Order fulfillment and on-time delivery. That's what I like about Hugo and Pedidos Ya, right? That uh, the accurate, right? Derechito, si están algo perdidos, me llaman. ¿Por dónde estoy aquí, right? And they call you, they're like, right? Uh, turn right, turn left, right? And you kind of guide them. I don't know if how many of you have used Pedidos Ya, Algunos han usado pedidos ya? Anyone? Not me. Where mm -hmm. I live, there's no, there's no delivery service. Okay. The, 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 the thing that I like, and we're talking about here logistics, right? Customer satisfaction. I, I love pedidos ya. I have to tell you the truth. Why? Why? It's like, why, why, why? Because the app, la app, the app tells you el nombre de la persona, the name of the person that's delivering your food, and uh, it gives you a GPS. Te da un GPS that tells you where that person is. Si se habla por allá, otro lado, you're like, hey, what are you doing over there, right? So it's like, you can see live, live, with a person moving like this, se mira la moto, right? You see the little motorcycle moving, and you're like, okay, it's almost here. I could tell, like, okay, ya viene por allá la otra vuelta. Okay, I have to go outside and wait for him. So it's like you can track them. Uno no puede, you can track them. So that's what I like about the the pedidos ya, and that's the satisfaction of the customer because it gives you a time. También te pone un tiempo. It gives you a time of when the approximate time that the delivery will be at your house. All right. It's not like ah, ya llevo dos horas y no me ha dado. Right. It's not no, no, none of that. All right, let's continue with letter B. So I, this is part of something that, as far as third-party logistics that I like about them, All right? Okay, Neftali, continue with letter B. Letter B, three PLs, reduce current cost. Cost management is still the number one priority for shippers and three PLs often offer an advantage across the cost of their total operations. Okay, very good. So the, the third party logistics reduce costs, right? For example, it, it, think about how much how, some companies cannot hire, right? Some companies or restaurants cannot hire a delivery guy or, or better yet have 10 motorcycles and 10 delivery guys that they have to pay every month just to deliver food, right? Some companies cannot afford that. So they lose customers that way because they, a lot of people want, with the pandemic, a lot of people want it to be sent to their house. So this reduces their cost when they hire, like Pedidos Ya or Hugo or, or I don't know, another one. I think I have another one in the country, 
don't remember what it's called, right? Um, and they use them to do the services. That way they still have customers and they can still send the product to, to the consumer, right? So it reduces current costs. A lot of companies are like, ah, thank God we have this, this uh, delivery guys because we don't, have to, we don't have to pay a delivery guy. We don't have to worry about if he has an accident, right? Boom, a moto, right? A motorcycle, right? They don't have to worry about none of that legal, legal uh, consequences. So let us see, continue and finish, Natalie. PPLs reduce risk. This includes a range of risks like union issues, environmental risk, and supply chain performance risk. Very good, excellent, right? Now, what are we talking about here? Hmm, reduce risk. Reducir el riesgo, right? What, what kind of risk? We're talking about union issues. Does anyone know what are union issues? ¿A qué se refiere con union? No es cebolla, okay? It's not onion, all right? We're talking about union issues, all right? Can someone tell me in, in, in the economic world, in the business world? Anyone? Is in about syndicates. Uh, yes, yes. Question syndicales. Yes, yeah. yes, that's correct, right? Union, the union, I'm going to write it here because it's so important if you ever work in the United States, right? The union, la union, right? The union, no, right? It's, it's pronounced union, que significa union, but in, in, in the in the workforce, in the workforce, right? The union is a sindicato. All right, a sindicato de trabajo, right? Uh, not just we're talking about transportation, or or we're talking about um, in as far as transportation, right? Everybody. Everyone has a, a union, all right? The union, whether it's the police force, whether it's uh, shipping, whether hasta para los traileros, there's a union in the United States, uh, the food industry, and uh, even in, in, in teachers union, they have all kinds of, just like they do in any other part of the world, right? Like here in El Salvador or any part of the world, there's always going to be un sindicato, right? They call it the union, but you have to be specific. Que tipo de sindicato? You have to specify transportation, uh, airlines, uh, police, right? You have to specify who, right? The fire department, I know para los bomberos, right? In the United States, for everything, there's going to be some of these. So in this case, the union here, they're reducing that risk, right? For example, if they say, oh, you cannot send your work, usted no puede mandar a sus trabajadores hasta allá, right? Uh, uh, si se enferma, blah, blah, blah. If this and that, right? So th they're like, okay, so we don't have to worry about union coming in with issues. We just hire. Uh, contratamos a third party, right? Third party logistics, and they don't have to worry about it, right? Because they're private, we're public, and all these kinds of stuff. So or environmental risk. Hmm. What could go here with environmental risk? Why wouldn't some companies say, okay, yo voy a agarrar mis camiones y no necesito contratar a nadie más. I don't need to contract anyone else. I can do it myself. And I get 18 wheelers and I get me two or three boats, <laughs> right? What do you think would be environmental risk? Why don't companies own companies have their own transportation for their goods. Why do you think? Think outside of Salvador, okay? Porque aquí las leyes del medio ambiente son in, they don't even enforce them, right? They thinking about the weather, it is cloudy, it is stormy or something like that, teacher. Okay, very good. That is one part, right? The weather, all right? What else? Hurricanes, maybe. Okay, hurricanes, all right. Okay, what about um, 
outside nature. Let's go with human nature. Well, what? Okay, that was great what you mentioned, everything that's that is natural disasters or anything that is unpredictable to man, right? But about the behavior, accident. Okay, accidents, very good. Anything else? Behavior. Okay, okay very good. We're getting there, we're getting there, very good. Excellent. What else? Can it be damaging the product? Mm, no. Could be, right? But we we're talking about the environment. Okay. Maybe an accident. Okay, sure. yes. Okay, maybe an accident. All right. I'm going to give you a little bit more. All right. Everything that you said is correct and it's in relation to what I'm about to say. It reveals environmental risk, just like you mentioned, hurricane, weather, snow, right? Where you stop because the, the road is closed, right? Due to weather conditions or hurricane tornadoes, right? Aquí no hay tornados, pero in the United States there are tornadoes, right? And I'm going to give you another environmental risk, right? That, for example, if the truck that you have, see if the 18 wheeler that you have, or they say you have five, si no pasan los exámenes de medio ambiente en Estados Unidos, no va a circular ese camión. All right? Uh, I don't know how here, you know, por muchos años aquí, cualquier camión que tira uno a un mazón puede circular, right? I don't understand, right? Because in other countries, those trucks or those buses or any type of transportation will not drive on the streets with that uh, environmental risk all right yeah. that's one right two if you have boats or or anything in the water you say no i want to work for myself and i want to ship everything right if some of that leaks gasoline si le cae gasolina petróleo or anything of that nature you are responsible for the cleanup all right, usted responsable para el, para el limpiamiento de todo eso. So, a lot of companies are like, no, nah, we don't want to go there. We don't want to spend millions of dollars, right? Millones de dólares, porque se murieron unos pescados, porque este tiró el bote de gasolina en el agua, right? O, o así como tienen la basura aquí, they could throw stuff in the water, and the, and the patrol from the water will come and find you, right? It, and you're like, nah. So that's the environmental risk that a lot of companies do not want to take, right? They're like, nah, mejor a contratemos a alguien fuera, right? So they do the, this analysis, right? And the supply chain performance, right? The performance, right? How, how well, how equipped are third party versus your own company to ship it, right? So that's the, the, the overall performance. That just giving you a little bit extra. Anyone have anything to say? Someone? Mention something? No? All right, great. So. Okay, I thought I heard someone. Okay, maybe not. All right, so this is what it's talking about here. Those types of risks, those types of dilemmas. And you're going to discuss in group, what are the advantages? Now that I mentioned to you, what are the advantages on your part? What do you believe? I gave you what the book says. I gave you something extra or a little bit more defined as far as some of these topics. But now it's your turn. It's your turn. And before we do that, I'm going to, to take the second, second, let me see, second attendance. All right. Abigail. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Blanca. Present. Thank you. Brenda. Okay. 
Carlos? I'm here present teacher. Okay, great. Doris? Present. Thank you. Edwin? Present. All right, thank you. Francisco? Present teacher. All right, great. I'm here teacher. Okay, thank you, Freddy. Glenda? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie? I'm here. All right. Jarvin? I am here. Okay, thank you. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. Juan Jose? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Carla? Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel? Miguel? Okay, not here. Neftali? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Rolando? Okay, I know you're here. Uh, Telma? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Janari? Janari, not here? Okay. And finally, Alvin. Present teacher. All right, great. Okay, so one, two, three, five, and those two people are missing. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Now I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. And this is your turn, like I mentioned earlier, to decide what are the advantages, the advantages, la ventajas, the advantages of hiring, contratar, right? hiring a 3PL provider. In other words, a third party logistics provider. What do you think the advantages are on your behalf, your opinion, okay? I gave you some here, gave you some ideas. What do you think are some here? What will be the advantages of hiring someone to ship your product right? or to receive your product, right? What do you think the advantages are? And discuss that with your classmates here. I'm going to give you like maybe 10 minutes because we're going to do some other speaking activities, maybe a little bit more. So think about that. Let me see breakout rooms. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have two that cannot. Three, four, five, six. Edwin, are you able to do this activity? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, I was just wondering. Okay. Let me see. Okay, one, two, three. Please enter breakout rooms and discuss the advantages of using third party logistics.
went or something like that. <laughs> really? They don't, they don't. <laughs> Yo creo que pagan la renta los del campero. ¿Por qué vienen hasta aquí a mi colonia? <laughs> la renta. Oh, man. Y llegan a varios lugares. De la pizajá también. Hello, Francisco. Hello, teacher. You finished? No. Uh, I. What? Um, uh, a little sec second ago, I called a gate. A okay. Gate. Okay. Who were you with? Because the power is off okay. for, for 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. Who were you with? i going with um, Freddy's, Thelma. Okay. And Edwin, right? Yes. All right, let me see. You were in room number two. All right. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. I create a logo. Yeah. But I think that I... I Advantage. I think that the the three hours are good. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are going to continue. I hope you managed to communicate and speak with your classmates and give your own opinions as to the advantages, right, of third party logistics. And now, let me see. I'm going to share the PowerPoint again. On my share screen. Okay. Blanca, where are you? Where are you, Blanca? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you something, all right? And for the rest to see, if you want to watch the movie, remember I was talking, I was looking for it right now, and I was talking about the Navajo Indians, right? And their yeah, and their performance in the in World War II, right? In the Segunda Guerra Mundial. And if you look at some of this stuff they actually received some medals finally right finally they got some recognition and they they went to the white house la casa blanca recibir medallas and stuff like that also so if you want to read the story you can but they also made a movie all right they got some medals and they got recognition and this is the name of the movie no sé si alguien conoce a nicholas cage un actor nicholas cage. Yeah, yeah of course so this is the oh. name of the movie oh. Wind talkers. All the right. wine talkers. Wind, wind, wind. Wind, wind, wind. yeah, wind talkers. Okay, and yeah. then if you want to, this is the way it's written in Spanish, Código de Guerra, and this is the um, the name of the movie, Wind Talkers in English, right? It's with Nicolas Cage. And then if you want to read about it, this is based on, on true events, right? And this is not like fiction. And then you can also probably look on Google or something about I think only one only one person is still alive from Navajo, the Navajo Indian that received some medals and maybe two or three back then, a few years ago, they received something from the president, right? So if you want to is look this, at it, oh, what, is this hey, movie what? is in Netflix? Mm. I have already seen that poster, but I never seen the movie. Okay, it's a good movie. So you can see how some of these native 
uh, Indians use their native language. So the, remember I was telling you earlier that the Japanese, right? Yeah, so they won't intercept the language. It's like, hey, who, right? They won't be able to. So they use their codes, codes in their in their Navajo language. Teacher, yes. Is is this movie in, on Netflix? You can check, right? Um, I have. Netflix. Oh, it is not. It's not right. Okay. <laughs> All right, but you work. can probably you can probably find it somewhere and and maybe Pelis or Pelis or something like that. Other apps. If I find it, I can send someone the link if they want to watch it. Or you can. Yeah, it's based on a true story. Yes, it's a true event. All yeah, right. if, if if can someone find the link, they can send it to the group. And we can solve. Ah, uh, no, no, not to the group, not to the group. Remember that administration. Where? Administration is in that group. So if we're going to oh, okay. this, in uh, private. Yeah, you can just send it in private, all right? It'd be like, hey, porque estamos dando el link aquí. I don't know. You know Edwin sent it, it, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, because and make if you saw group. that move. <laughs> right. let, let's make another group that's right. No, no, no. It's because if you saw this movie, you are going to see it in English in the subtitles, you know? Yeah. To, to learn more, it will be. Like, it's, it's a good movie. I've seen it. It's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, you can go online. You can go online and check out the history, all right? The life history or pictures, presidential medals, I think they receive or something like that. You can check. Uh, uh, you can probably see more, right? I can't remember a lot, but I remember uh, reading about it. And then I saw the movie, right? So you can, you can uh, get a little bit more information online about this movie. You can probably look for it. In Spanish or in English, if you want, but but if you get a chance, try to look at it. Let me see. Okay, now since we were talking about Indians at the beginning of the class, right? Thanksgiving. <laughs> All right. Now here I have an activity for you, and this is work related. Let's look at the topics. Um, Freddy's, please begin. Yeah. Talk about talk about the most dangerous job. Jobs. Jobs. Very For good. Me. So so you're going you to be a policeman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. In that, the United, that was the one. Yeah, in the United States, I think being a police officer right now is not a good idea, right? It's not a good idea, yeah, right? Not even in El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, but you know, some places I think you can be the a police. People that cleaning the weed. The windows also, right? So you're going to talk about the most dangerous jobs, right? And the next one, Blanca. Okay, talk about your dream job. Ah, your dream job, right? This is your dream job. Look, it's Tex Sueña, right? Your dream job. Continue, uh, Alvin. Talk about the most well-paid jobs. All right, most well-paid. Pagos mejores de trabajo, right? Well-paid jobs. What do you think they are? Next one, Edwin. Talk about the best outfit for job interview. Very good. What is an outfit? Like, like presentation, like yeah, you your, dress. In, so. your, yeah, dress. your dress. Yeah, your dress. Right? Your, the, how you dress for an interview, right? Think about yeah. the best outfit or the mejor traje. What, what would what would it be for a job interview? Okay, let's continue, Doris. Okay, talk talk about pros and cons of part-time job. Part part-time. Part-time job. Very good, excellent, right? Part-time job. That's uh, about twenty to twenty-five hours a week. Okay, that's a part-time job. All right. Uh, continue, please, uh, Telma. Can you turn on your microphone? Uh, okay. Excuse me? Okay, can you repeat? Yes, yes, okay, okay. Talk about pros and cons of a full-time job. Very good, so you're gonna talk about the pluses and the negatives of having a, of a full-time job. All right, Blanca. Yeah. Uh, 
talk about who are better based based men mm. or women women bosses men bosses 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 we can talk all the night about bosses this. i <laughs> i can see that oh okay hold on let me let me do something right here Okay, talk about who are better bosses, bosses, bosses. Yeah. Men uh, or women. Men or women, right? Very good. Excellent. It is. Talk about the most popular jobs in your country. All right, very good. Talk about the most popular. What are the most popular jobs? Lo más populares aquí in the country. What do you think they are? All right. Next one. Um Juan Jose. Talk about quality of a perfect boss. Oh, yeah, you're going to talk about the qualities of a perfect boss. ¿Cuáles son esas cualidades de un jefe perfecto? What do you think they are? Or what Leaders. do you think they are? Right? Leaders, bosses, who do you uh, manage? Communication. Right? Good uh, behavior. Good behavior. Ah, okay. All right, very good. You're going to talk about those things, those qualities. Neftali. Talk about the most boring jobs. All right. Are there some jobs that are just boring, right? There's just boring jobs, right? What do you what do you think those jobs are? Okay, Jackie. Talk about how to be successful at work. Okay. Talk about mm -hmm. how to be successful. What does successful mean? Que significa successful? Hmm? Exitoso. Yeah, very Exitoso. good. Very good. Excellent. Right. How are you going to be successful at work? Next one, Carlos. Talk about what is better to be a boss or an employee. Okay. What do you think is better? Being a boss or an employee? I think that it is better to be a boss, but you have more responsibilities. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you're going to talk about that with your classmates. Right, very good. Very yes. good. Thank you. Now, uh, next one. Um, Francisco. Okay. Uh, talk about the lowest, lowest pay job in your country. Very good. The lowest pay. What do you think those jobs are? What do you think the lowest pay los, los pagos más bajos que hay en este país de los trabajos? Como de la sirvienta. Okay. Any okay. service. All right. A housekeeper. The cleaning, or the yeah, farmer. House, housekeeper. Edwin. Housekeeper. Housekeeper. All right, very good. And then the last one, you're going to talk about jobs of the future. What do you think the jobs of the future are? All right, think about it. You're going to talk about these with your classmates. All right, I'm going to send this to the group. Let me see. Uh, where is it? Teacher, can you yes. share? Uh, the screen to... uh, in this moment to okay. take uh, the, the screenshot. Okay, the no screenshot. Problem. All right, let me. I was going to send it to the group, but if you want to take the screenshot right now, it's better on the group. Yeah, okay, let me see. Can you see it? Yes. Um... Sure. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Let me send it to to the group, and that way you can share it also. All right, let me see. All right, I send it to the group also. Yeah, I was All right. So now I'm going to put you back in the same group you were in, and you're going to talk about these topics, okay? It's just speaking only, speaking only, all right? No writing, none of that. Do not send me anything. This is just speaking amongst yourselves. All right, one, two, three.
Abigail.
Okay, the another one is talk about pros and cons of the part-time job. How the principal thing for me is the money. <laughs> because these two words are Yes. Yeah, it's for example to be a pilot that you are saying. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, I think the same. It's dangerous. And um, maybe to 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 drive the shipment. The, the letter oh, was yeah. very cold in everything. And but it, it, it's, it's a feeling, it's a feeling that you can, you, I can explain that. Yes, yeah, it's But that's my way to dress, right? Okay, the next question. Talk about pros and cons of a part-time job. You don't receive enough money. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's yeah. a cons. Because the bills come to your house very, very fast. But if it's you are enough. study and you, you have a part-time job, that's it's the 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 way to to perceive i don't know money some money even if you are a study right but that it's only if your parents still give you money <laughs> because <laughs> it's not enough money okay that's what i live with my mom <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think fun. there is an advantage and you can have more jobs, more than one job. I think you can have opportunities and, and work for other people or other places. You, you can have more free time mm -hmm. or available time to do other and things. And experience. You obtain the experience that you will need to a full-time job. That's important because the, the, the business told you that you have to Is yeah uh, the time for family is 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 no good when when he has a uh, travel for many di many days for many days. Yes. How old is he? What? How old is he?
Okay, welcome back. I know, I know y'all didn't finish, right? The no. question about the poses are the, are the, oh my God, I forgot mm -hmm. the name. Are the apple of the Discord? The, the, okay, a Discord? <laughs> uh, what did you say? The, apple? Are you talking the about apple the Discord? Okay. De la discordia, la manzana yes. de la discordia. Yes, that is correct. The apple of discord. Okay. Of discord. Yeah. Right. And we continue tomorrow, teacher, this yes. conversation. Yes, <laughs> it's a good. All right, this is good. I have another one for you, but um, on this one right here, it, I know some of you probably stop here, probably at number eight, my, my, pro, uh, approx approximately probably number eight or number nine. I don't know where some of you ended, but probably within this range, right? I think the majority already did this, right? Yes. Or six. Yes. Seven. I think the majority were here, like seven or eight, somewhere around here. So tomorrow I'm going to put you back in the same group so you can finish, all right? And that way you won't be mixed. I already took a picture of everyone that was in the groups. And I take that into consideration for activities in uh, in breakout rooms, right? So that will be for tomorrow. We will continue with this tomorrow. And I also have another one for you. What if? What if? Right? What if you could go on vacation? Or I have some uh, some more speaking activities for you. But I want you to finish this one because it was nice. I like it. It's very uh, very attractive. Uh, the conversations here. All right. So the topics. So we'll continue tomorrow. Don't worry. We are we are finished. I'm just going to take the final attendance. And let me see. I'm downloading the movie. Okay. I'm downloading the movie, but I have two apps. The other one, it won't let me download. It can only let me watch. But it, you have to click like seven times, and it's a lot of mess. This one lets me download, but it's only in Spanish. Right? Only in Spanish. So if anybody wants to, I'm going to see if I can put it on my on my YouTube channel. And then if I can give you access to the link and you can just click and watch the movie. But uh, we'll see. Right? If you want to see it, just let me know. Send me a message. And um, that you want to watch the movie and I'll send you the link to, the, to my YouTube channel. Right? Okay. First, uh, uh, last attendance. Abigail. Present. All right, Blanca. Present. Okay. Brenda. Okay, I know you're here. Carlos? I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Doris? Present. Okay. Edwin? Present, teacher. Okay. Francisco? Present, teacher. All right. Freddy's? I'm here, teacher. Okay. Glenda? Present. Okay, great. Iris? Present, teacher. All right. Jackie? Present. All right. Jarvin? Present, teacher. All right. Jennifer? Present, teacher. Okay. Juan Jose? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla? Present. All right. Miguel? Miguel? Okay, he didn't connect. Okay. Let me Phase zero. Neftali? Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando? I know you're here. Uh, Delma? Okay, I see you right there, Denma. Uh, Janari? Okay, I see you, no problem. Janari? Janari? Okay, she didn't connect, right? Okay, zero. Put it right here. Okay, and finally, Alvin. Present Hello. teacher. All right, great, awesome. Okay, class, let me see. Today, Freddy stays. And everyone else, have a good night. And I see you tomorrow. And if you want to get the link, just tell me, send me a message, 
and I will gladly send it to you when I download it, okay, for the movie. You can watch it in the weekend, right, in the semana. All right, so good night, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll continue. Good night. Thank you for Thanks, your participation. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 All right, nice. All right. Night. Nice night, right? <laughs> All right, you too. You too. All right. Hey, Freddy, what's going on? Okay. How are you? Good. All right, great, great. Let me see. Yeah, man, I really like your background, man. I, I like how when you put background like that, it's very, very il illustrative, right? Yeah. So it's nice. It's nice. So these are your 10 minutes. You already know the procedure, right? And if you have any questions or you would just like to speak, we can. Whatever is up to you. This are your. This is your time. Actually, I will. The only question that I had right now is about the the PowerPoint that we're gonna be doing. Okay. Uh, actually, um, I was thinking about when you were saying. Uh, I was. I think it was. And that would the next the next part. I think is gonna be tomorrow, right? Yes, tomorrow. That is correct. So we're gonna have to choose either you said inbound logistic, outbound in logistic, or that that third PPL. party. Yeah, the th third party logistic. I think in my in like in the company that I'm making is gonna be outbound logistic. Okay, very good. So you're going to do the outbound logistics, go from the your company to the consumer, right, or to the customer. Yeah. Yeah, because I think in, in, in my case, it's going to be like I'm giving the service and I have the power too if, it, if, if the consumer Exactly, is exactly. Just like you mentioned to me about uh, how you can sell the product and have the work done, right? The repairs yeah. and everything. Yeah, that's that goes in coordination with, with, your, with your company. That goes in coordination because you're going to do housework, right? You won't do like third party logistics, not, not in yours, no. right? No, uh, you it's it's going it's your own business. You're the owner, and then you're going and send people to work, or you can go yourself, right, to supervise the job program. Yeah, I'll have well, like my my team work, and I'll be the supervisor. Yeah, and if I need to work, I will work on on it too. Exactly right. They, they you yeah. have to be able to understand the the work environment, right? Yeah. It's like, yeah, we're finished. Like, okay, yeah, no sabes nada del trabajo, right? You're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to be able to understand in it and comprehend. In to, yeah, in order to supervise the, the job to, gets well done. You have to be able to understand the fundamentals of uh, plumbing, right? So the repairs that you're going to do, whether it's whatever you're going to do there in your presentation, you can do, yeah, it goes, it goes in accordance with yours. Um, outbound, outbound logistics, all right? Where you go to the customer. And actually, if I really had a had my own company, it would be easy for me because I know that kind of job. So, ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it would be fairly easy, right? Fairly easy. It'd be pretty, pretty simple. It'd be pretty simple. So, um, yeah. So tomorrow we're going to. I want y'all to give your ideas as what, in other words, what road or what path you're going to take as far as your logistics. The beginning, you have to be able to uh, remember that when I showed you a logistician, there's a, there are certain things that they have to do, right? And you as the owner, you also have to do your own logistics. So you have to do that, that area of logistician where you have to be like, okay, I have to plan this. You have to be able to plan it and establish it. So what do I mean by that? I'm talking about you have to design. You have to design. Tienes que diseñar un plan logístico. You have to design a logistical plan. How are you going to do your logistics? All right? And another thing is how much are you going to spend? Right, because it's not free. You have to spend gas, 
you have to spend time, you have to pay your workers. So all that part is the logistics. So you are able to say, okay, if this is going to cost me $30 in gas, I have to pay my workers, I have to pay myself, right? How much am I going to charge for the job? Am I going to charge by the hour or am I going to charge by the, by the whole complete work, right? So I've kind of done it before. Ah, there you go. So you, this one, it's not easy, but it's not hard also, right? Yeah. You have to be able to understand business, right? Okay, you can, uh, it'd be like telling someone, okay, uh, um, yes, uh, yes, dentist, uh, we're well, dentist, all right? I go to the dentist a lot. So I can tell the dentist, okay, uh, how much for this feeling? Uh, no sé cuánto cobrarte. Come on, right? Uh, you have to be able to, to understand logistics because if not, you're going to lose money, right? Like, yeah, yeah just give me $20. Y te cuesta $30 el gas. <laughs> it's like, yeah, right? It's not, it's not correct. So I do, for myself, I do logistics also, right? It's like, okay, when they tell me, okay, come teach at my house, right? Come teach my children. Come teach me. It's like, okay, well, if I go to your job, I, I charge by the hour, right? And it's yeah. not cheap, right? It's not cheap. I, I tell him, okay, I have to pay gas, uh, the time he gets for me to get there, and, you know, uh, it's going to be over $10 an hour. <laughs> so, you know, it, 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 that's the way it is. And uh, online is cheaper, right? But yeah, yeah. I'm just giving you some numbers, right? Some people might charge 10, 12, 13, 14. I don't know, right? It depends. But it depends. Oh, lo in logistics, Actually, I, I'm going to take out all the spends. Well, it depends. You can add the expenses or you can do it, It's because logistics, <sighs> it, you include everything, Freddy. Profit is when you exclude everything. Logistics is everything, right? It's everything. Okay. For example, if you if you tell DHL or what is it, FedEx, digamos, right? FedEx or DHL, DHL, and you send a package, and you are tienen un precio fijo, right? But that price to send a package, no es after expenses. It's every that price includes everything, and then at the end they take out the profit. Okay, okay. It, it, you know, this is not like okay, it's going to cost me this, this, and that. So, um, the profit is this. No, you have to include everything, and that's your final price. Your final price is included there. All right. For example, if you do the plumbing, you say okay, it might it might take you like four hours, right? Normally, contractors don't charge by the hour. They charge by the job, right? So they try to get it as fast as possible. Or like roofing, right? You don't charge by the hour. You pay. You can pay the worker by the hour, but you charge by the job, by the contract. By the job, yeah. Yeah, it's like, okay, I want to change your roof. It's not going to be like, okay, pay me $10, $12. No, you can't, right? You just charge by how much. Normally, it's by squares. Por squadras le llaman en roofing, right? So it's uh, you charge by that so you measure the house right and then you decide okay this is how much it's going to cost right when you charge that you're including the 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 labor and what you're going to pay the employees right oh, okay. so it, everything is included there so for example if you do uh you say i call you okay Freddy, my my uh, the toilet is broken right it's flooded are you going to come and then I want to ask how much you're going to charge me? And then you analyze, right? You can do a survey about, okay, you need this, this, and that. Le va a costar tanto y tanto y tanto, right? You buy the material, right? Aquí es así, ¿verdad? Usted compra el material, right? And you, or yeah. I can go with you and then, right? And then I pay for it and then I give it to you, right? Or I can tell you, okay, go get it for me. Okay, para que yo se lo vaya a dar, it's going to be extra $10 for gas, right? And you can do that. And then you come back and say, okay, to fix it's going to be $200. Okay. All right. Yeah, right. So that two hundred dollars at the end, you have to pay your assistant, right, or your workers, right, and maybe it might be a two-hour job, right, or three-hour job, and then you pay that person or what twenty-five, fifty dollars or something, right, to help you, or just to do the job or two people, and then you keep the rest. 
So your profit is whatever you get at the end. That will yeah, be your is. profit. But that is all included in the logistical price. Okay? Yeah. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Okay, I got it now. All right, so I gave you a brief analysis and a little insight of uh, what we plan to do tomorrow. Okay, Freddy's, thank you for staying the extra time, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And I want to congratulate you for doing a great job and always being punctual in classes and always participating, okay? So uh, I wanted to stay here in the recording also, all right? Okay. All right. So remember, that's what I'm going to put. You continue to do that. And next week when I do the evaluations to send to administration, I'm, I always like to put good things, right? And I'm telling you here face-to-face -face that it's going to be all positive, all right? Thank you. All right. You take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. All right. Good night. Bye-bye.